heard something about the wedding was cancelled. <laughs> hey, Mr. Rice, <laughs> why don't you ask me about Where the fuck are Pearl's parents? Why they allow her to go walk around and talk about her, suicide her killings? What the fuck? She has only... Yeah, what about Morgan, bro? Oh, she's in Morgan jail. Is in jail. Well, we're her parents now, bitch. Her, her dad, like, went to buy cigarettes, never came back. What are you doing? He's. He's what? He's oh what? God, Pils, stop Pils, Pils, shut the fuck up, Pils, what the fuck? Shut the. Shut the fuck up! Oh my shit! Oh my god, you ruined everything! The starting line of this cruise. It's worth. Aye. I don't care for the horrid atmosphere here. Let's return to the somewhere more comfortable. My bedroom. This is missing box scanned writing, isn't it? Uh, I found this at Martin Guard's mansion. Even you know all this, are you still going to help that man? Uh, I... I'm a lawyer. I see. What a full profession. Thank you very much for your time and for talking with me. Bro, finally I feel like a real lawyer, man. Finally I have a client who like really did it. Jesus. Yeah, sure. Now, now the game begins. Now the real yeah. game begins, bro. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I, I, I'm not the killer. I'm, no one said you were Mr. Powers. No, please, don't, don't treat me. Every time you do your lower things, the witness suddenly turns into a bad guy. <laughs> oh. So, as to whether this people thought piece of evidence was really written by his impacts or not, that has yet to be even remotely confirmed. Oh, this, now this looks, sounds like a real court. But if this is a fake, then the witness is the only person who could have made it. What? Miss Andrews, you wrote this note, didn't you? You wrote it so you could use it to frame Matt and Guard. I, I, I did, I did not so <laughs> Right, if you're going to pronounce the suicide note a fake, then show this court some evidence to support your theory. Mr. H. you were the one who presented this scrap of paper as evidence. That means That's the burden of proof lies with you. The Bro, this sounds like a real court. <laughs> My grandparents always look at the. The canal of Primo. Primo canal, Sweet Meriola. Sudia, Kakoita. Chasudan. Yeah, Chasudan. Now I know. <laughs> this is Chasudan for young people. <laughs> Oh, what is it? Let me talk to Mr. Edgeworth. I, I, I can't do that. Mr. Mr. White, would you, please get would you please get a hold of yourself? Y yes, Your Honor. I'm about to end today's proceedings. You may take your phone calls after. Hold on, Your Honor. Edgeworth, catch! Take that. <laughs> 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 Mr. Edgeworth! Did you see the JPEG picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro. <laughs> Come on, bro. Just one more push. One push left. Also, I get to see Francisca. Mm -hmm. Bitch, fuck you. Fuck <laughs> you. No, he said that was... How... How did you think about Francisca? I always think about her. <laughs> <laughs> the court will now reconvene. I assume both sides are ready. Yes, your honor. <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> well then, the prosecution calls the witness to the stand. Each word, is there another way left to us? Now then, witness. Um, your name and your uh, occupation, please. <laughs> uh, very good, sir. My name is Chili the Killer, and I'm a professional assassin. Uh, I say... What is going on in here? Your Honor? How can you remain so calm? 
What is the meaning of this two-way radio? Actually, Your Honor, it was delivered to me just now, and it came with a condition. As long as we do not trace its source, Mr. The Killer will testify to the court. <laughs> what the fuck is <laughs> going on? <laughs> um, witness? About uh, requesting a hit? Yes. How much is your fee? I see you're also quite a dark-hearted man, Mr. Thorne. Hmm? If you would like to talk business, we can do so after the trial. No, 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 I'm not thinking of firing. Mr. Wright, what the yes. fuck are you doing? You. You want to kill me? You want me dead, don't you? <laughs> what? Why would you think something like that, you know? Guilty, Mr. Finney, <laughs> you're held by declared guilty. Who, who the fuck? Well, the only person who would have placed a camera at the scene of the crime would be your client, naturally. Hmm? That was Adrian Andrews? You judge, you motherfucker, be quiet and listen, you piece of shit. <laughs> You'll finally receive the acquittal you wanted so badly, you should be happy. <laughs> But before that, I would like to make one final statement. Sometime in the near future, one very betrayed assassin may appear before you. <laughs> you can't run away from the crime anymore. No. Oh my god. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Well, where's his beautiful face now? As always, it looks like we have uncovered the real truth. I don't remember you helping out much in this. Mr. Edgeworth, how is Madame Guard? I have left Miss Von Karma in charge of his incarceration. <laughs> I'm sure he's getting a full course meal of the whip leather right now. <laughs> a prosecutor who has seen his uh, with defeat should crawl into a hole and die. Uh, but that's not what happened. After I left the prosecutor's office, I finally came to realize something. And it was in that moment of clarity that everything began to change. Why, you, you nodded? What the foolish nonsense! We prosecutors use anything we can to attack the defendant. But every time we did so... No matter what? No matter how desperate the situation, instead of giving up like most people. That man would hold strong with his undying fate. At ace at two. And then, before I knew it, I began to trust in that man as well. Holy fuck, you're being really gay, Edgeworth. What? Well, Karma, please say You trust say the in word. your enemy? You fucking homo. That's why you couldn't forgive me. This man went into hiding. Isn't that right? This man only had his sights set on victory. He ran away into the night. Bad man. Oh, is, is Mr. H work right, Mr. Nick? You really let me down. When you disappeared, I felt betrayed. The reason I decided to become a lawyer to begin with was because I believed in the things you said to me. All those years ago. Aw, so cute, little edgy wedgy. Whatever, whatever. Look, it's over, okay? Besides, if I did croak, I would just come back and hunt you like a bad ghost, Burly. <laughs> oh, that's fucked up, my team. Maya. Oh, Mr. Edgeworth. Um, I'm uh, relieved you're alright. Hey, it looks like you made some real progress, Mr. Edgeworth. Yeah. Piece of little shit. For honeymoon, so I sort of made a reservation for the tour here, just in case. Man, Pro really wants them to fuck. Mm -hmm. Really wants them to fuck, I tell ya. Girls wants, uh, wants a niece. Pro wants to continue the, the Fae bloodline. I see. Hm. You know, I can't do it. I can't change who I am. I can't throw away everything I've been until today. I believe you can, and just like how Adrian Andrews did. Adrian Andrews? 
were going to use her during the trial, right? But you... You were dependent on your father by using his tactics, isn't that right? Hmm. <laughs> Today, you chased after me, after I had left you behind all these years. And that's why we're standing here now, side by side. That's some straight bullshit right here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you say you are going to quit your walk down the prosecutor's path, then this is where we part ways, Francisca von Karma. I am Francisco von Karma. Don't you am going to walk in your shadow forever. Our battle begins now. So you had better prepare yourself. Miles, which word? Faith. <laughs> Oh, I'll see here, you can't avoid answering questions by sneezing all day. Uh, uh well, guess I did know his name. News to me, why didn't he tell me that before? Um, I heard he used to date Dolly. Who is Dolly, person? Dolly. Ah, yes. That would be the defendant's lover, Miss Dolly of Hawthorne. I see, young love, so bittersweet. But that's all I knew about him. Are you sure he's Mr. British? He stated the if, following in your testimony. I if hardly he's sure knew the he's guy British, to begin with. <laughs> British people have no rights. <laughs> that's right, I mean, why would I even? But that doesn't sound right. 